How's it going guys, Zerai here. So yes, as you have read this title of this video, I didn't particularly like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Even after so many hours, finishing the game, reaching up to 85 hours of playtime, and just pretty much, pretty much doing everything within the game, that's including all the and majority of the side quests. There's only one side quest that I'm missing. I am purposely did not want to do it because, well, it glitched on me and I could not get my rewards. I restarted the save and I lost like about three hours of the progress and I said, fuck this, I'm not continuing with this. So one last side quest, I would've got all the quests completed, but whatever, at that point, I was near the, nearing the end of the game and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna finish this game and I'll be done with it. Because if you are not enjoying particularly the game, then why are you playing and continuing on playing? Well, basic reasons that I even, why I even continue playing the game is because of the story. I was very curious and interested to see how the story will progress through and how will it develop going through the third game of this remake, this trilogy. Because, mind you, I have never played the original Final Fantasy VII game. I do not know much about it. I do know the characters. I kind of sort of know how the whole story will wrap up due to the uh, Advent Children movie. I really like that movie. It's, I, I, like, I watched it like maybe two, three times. And, of course, I know some particular moments within Final Fantasy VII original game as well. Now, it's not like I was on purposely trying to spoil myself. No, it just happened. Again, the game is like, what? 20 years old? Am I wrong about that? So obviously there's going to be some parts that will be seen on YouTube, Twitter, or X at this point, and other social media and accounts and stuff like that. So let's get back on track regarding why I didn't particularly like this game in general. I want to say that the biggest issue within it is because of my fault. Is because I was going for, uh, well, old side quest, old completion, I was basically going for a platinum trophy within Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and that was a big 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 mistake because after when I was going through I was completing everything I started to see really big and bad things within this game for example side quests are poorly done they're not interesting at all and it's just like they're too many and on top of that we continue on if we have to say a lot of negative things it's just this this pacing Holy shit, this game has an awful pacing. It's so bloated to the point it's just like, wait, 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 what's going on here? Why did you make this game 100 hours length in, in, within the story and everything within it, right? I'm uh, sure, sure, I get it. If you concentrate mainly on the story, you wouldn't even reach to like, I think 50 hours of game time of going through the story. Maybe somewhere like reaching up to 40 hours, let's say to 50. It's a lot of time already asking of you to do so. And of course, the way a whole thing, a whole story ended as well, that was not a really weird thing. I feel that Remake, well, Final Fantasy VII Remake had a way better story on how, they went, how it actually developed. In Rebirth, it's like, what? It's, it's just, it didn't make sense for this game to exist. I personally think that the devs should have actually just made two games instead. And now, of course, we know that trilogy will be happening instead. And so it's just the way that they decided to go with the story and they had to keep on pushing more and more and more bloat towards it. On top of that, mandatory things that you had to do. It's just some of the side quests as well. They're so poorly done and so uninspired. And it's like, OK, wait, 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 where's the polish in that? You know, there's so many things that went wrong here. Now, sure, they have implemented a lot of things within here. For example, I've noticed there's so many side missions and those many games that you can do. Some of them are phenomenal. I love the Blood Queen as an example. Like that's that card game was incredible. I loved it. And I finished it all. I played it everything. And yet after, well, how it wrapped up, basically, I'm, I'm not exactly satisfied. But whatever, it doesn't matter. For me, it was the journey that was the important part of why I absolutely loved it. Afterwards, experiencing all the rest of the mini quests and mini uh, you know, games that you can do within this game, some of them are very poorly done. For example, like the dolphin one, I didn't really, I actually fucking hated that one. As soon as I, like, you know, done one time deal sort of thing, and there's like a particular one as well that you got to do for the, uh, for the side quest as well, I was just like, nope, I'm not doing this crap again. And there's some others that are not very good as well. The Chocobo Flight, for example, uh, it's a little bit finicky. Now, sure, you can kind of get used to it and you can get adjusted to it, maybe muscle memory. I did it, like still, I got like the uh, highest scores in, the, in it as well because at that point of time, I still didn't particularly, like say, 
did not like the game, but I, it was starting to get into me, you know, like, oh my god, when does this end? And man, you really have to pay attention to the games that you're playing and make sure you don't actually go for those sort of platinum trophies. And because platinum trophies can really sour your experience of video games that you're playing. But again, I got the platinum trophy for uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake and I did not feel so drained as I do now. I mean, by the time I've actually platinumed uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, I still enjoyed the game. But now here, I didn't even get close to the platinum and yet I fucking hate it. Well, it's, again, my apologies guys, I shouldn't be so brutal with my words because I didn't hate the game. I did not. I, if I would have hated the game, I wouldn't even be in continuing playing. I didn't. I wouldn't have even put in 80 hours, 80 plus hours of game time within this game if I would have hated it. Instead. I enjoyed my time with the story and how it went about, but the way with the pacing, well that was awful, seriously, so much bloat, they should have scrapped so many things within this game, it's ridiculous, and I'm just like questioning it, why didn't they? I mean I get it because they had to like, you know, extend the time, but did they really have to extend the time this much? Man, like the third game, sh I hope the third game is not going to be as large as this. They need to cool it down with the amount of size and scope that you guys, well, those developers are aiming for. My goodness, not a hundred hours of game time, that's way too much. And yet you're doing pretty much the same thing. Like for example, like you have to get from the point A destination to point B. Thankfully they do kind of spice things up a little bit and making it different varieties of ways. But it's just, it's so dependent on that, that kind of actually, well, I noticed it so often. It's also, again, like I said, side quest, doing the other uh, objectives within the story and the open world, and a reliance on that as well, how much you actually have to do. Some of the times, I'm, like you don't even have to do, thankfully, but if you're going for a platinum, it really will sour your experience of this game. Uh, you know, continuing on, I think they will not do much good for me, so, let me say this thing regarding of my viewpoint of this game, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm sure a lot of people will say down in the comments, and I've noticed a few times when I made videos about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and why I kind of lashed out on it. And people say this, why are you playing this game if you do not enjoy it? But that's just the thing, I did enjoy it. I like the story and I like the journey to see how the story will develop, continuing into the third game. That's what I wanted. Also, my fault, yes, I agree, that why in the world did I decide to go for the Platinum Trophy as well if I started hating the game at that point, and this is why it soured my experience. Now still, I did not enjoy the game overall, but I did enjoy the journey of this story. But yet again, the pacing, the open world elements, the necessity of doing these ma uh, many, many mini quests, are so unnecessary and so bloated, it really soured my experience. Having a lot of things to do is not a bad thing, I get that. But if you have to do all this for the Platinum, that is a bad thing because it can really sour your experience like it did for me. But the thing what I didn't like about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and if I'm strictly talking about the main quests, the main quest, the mandatory quest, still necessitates you of doing these mini games too darn often and there's so much bloat just within the main quest that you still have to do it's ridiculous that's what i do not like about this game now sure having repetitive side quests and overload of the these mini games and way too much of the following the map markers for these annoying especially fucking this chadley guy i hate this character please kill him I'm so sick of hearing him, seriously, it's like ringing in my ears every time I hear his voice. But bloody hell. <laughs> I'm sure that some of you will even say like, my goodness, how did you cope up with this game for 80 plus hours and yet you still finished it and even though you didn't particularly enjoy it. Like I said, I did enjoy my time with it because of the story and the characters and how it develops into, well, from the first game and continuing into the third game. And by the way, I want to say one last thing before I go. Guys, you have to play the remake. You have to. You cannot start playing from Rebirth and then continuing on. Because this doesn't make any sense. Like, the way the story developed and some characters are introduced here, it just makes no sense. And biggest pet, pet peeve of all, 
I have to say this, I'm super disappointed the fact that my group and my party contains of like six to seven people, and yet I can only operate with three others. I do not like that. Let me control all of my party members when they're in a battle and heats of battle and stuff like that, right? For example, Barrett is there, Tifa is there, Aerith is there, Red is there. I want to control them all, right? I don't want to choose my group that's specific that I should be, you know, uh, utilizing in this particular battle. While those other guys are sitting in the background doing bloody nothing. Let them be a part of this battle. It's, what was the decision making there? I'm so confused about that part. Anyway, that's just, you know, a little bit of my gripes and nitpicking at this point as well, I feel. But that's, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of chat regarding Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I will be getting a third game and I will be playing and finishing it. By that time, I definitely will not be bothering going for the Platinum Trophy because it really have soured my experience with Rebirth. And it's just like I started seeing the game more poorly than I have anticipated. And because of this also, I consider the remake being a way better experience because it's a tighter and more linear experience. Now, though it had some bloat for sure, but my goodness, it's not in comparing to a rebirth for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, do let me know what you think about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I know I do know a lot of people are just like completely praising the game. For me, like I can see definitely why this game got like an eight out of ten. I, I if you know, on a good day, I definitely give it an eight out of ten. It's difficult for me to give it as like a seven because I can definitely see the values within this game. But yeah, I know, I know. Some of you will say, oh my goodness, the amount of cons and amount of negativity you said and negative negative parts about this game. If you, it looks like and sounds like I should be giving it like a five or six out of ten. But yet I'm not gonna sit here and just say that this was an an awful experience because it was not. It was enjoyable. Like I like the story and the parts and how it goes through, and I want to see what's gonna happen after. Now the pacing and the characters and stuff like, look, sorry, the pacing was really bad and the sure, okay, okay, whatever, and a lot of bloat. But still, I'm not. It's such a dive. I'm torn. I'm just torn about this game. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all. Have a wonderful day.